Hello, it is the 19th of December 2010, and in this video I want to go quickly over technical analysis. I have this comment in particular, but I could use uh, many dozen of different comments that have been on uh, many different videos, and they refer to technical analysis meaning nothing and really a waste of time. And I want to go over this article, and it says, I fail to see what mar market dynamics have to do with the prices going up and down when the only thing that does affect the market is when JP Morgan raids the market at 8 o'clock in the morning and again at 2. This is Eastern time, by the way. What is the next, uh, watch it next week. The most likely day will be Tuesday. This being said, technical analysis means nothing in a market where there are no rules or is it just a gambling thing? Well, it does mean more than nothing. It means a quite a bit. So now we know at 8 o'clock that JP Morgan raids the market. So what does it mean? Does it mean it always goes down every time at that level? Hopefully it would because then I could sell everything and then short for a little while. It doesn't mean it always goes up. Well, same thing. I'd hope it always would because then it's easy to do. No, it could go down big and go down like 70 cents in 40 minutes. And it can go up 70 cents in 40 minutes, meaning it has bigger moves. So therefore, what does this mean technically? It means that at that time more stuff happens to go on and you have those more wild moves. So if you're experienced enough or you've seen it enough, you would know that at that time frame to adjust to that message of the market. And what does that, excuse me, what does that mean technically? And as far as the price actions are concerned, no matter what happens with the price, whether it's neutral, whether it's bullish, bearish, or whatever, no matter what the reason happens to be, the charts will indicate what needs to be indicated. The key support levels, regardless of the volatility, will show if it's breaking down, it'll break down below it. All the moving averages will do its thing. All the VWAPs, all of those sort of things will work and state, okay, now it's going down, now it's going up, now uh, you see this bounce. And if, say, for example, at 8 o'clock, say this is uh, uh, the move that happens at 8 and then... Boom, it has that there. So now, as far as picking a bottom is concerned, you need to uh, wait and see some sort of a, a move. And now at this point, you can say, okay, so we had this big move where the market went down, say, 70 cents. It's developed this inverted head and shoulders pattern. So whether it's volatile or not, the patterns are still going to indicate uh, what's going to uh, be more likely to happen. And if we look at the definition of such, technical is defined as of relating to or derived from technique. And that's really what it's all about. It's all about having a technique. Because it was asked, is this, just a, is this just gambling? Well, of course it's gambling. It's calculated gambling. And in order to have the calculations, you have to have the techniques for winning within the game frame. So if you know that at 8 o'clock in the morning it's going to get more wild, what kind of technique are you going to use within your personal strategy so that you can come out ahead? After all, it's having special skill or practical knowledge, especially in a mechanical or scientific field, a uh, technical advisor. But mainly, let's just ignore this especially. It's mainly having the special skill or practical knowledge. In a game where the majority of the people lose, that means you really have no choice but to have a, a special, a exceptional skill, knowledge, or be very, very lucky. And only the few that don't have the skill are going to get lucky. So with that being said, technical analysis does mean a lot more than nothing. Because if you don't care about technical analysis, then what are you going to do? Just, oh, this looks like it's down too much, I'm going to buy it. I, Fibonacci, I don't care. That's a technical level. It's going up too much. It's time to sell or it's time to short. That gets people in a lot of trouble.